I had some great storytellers in my family, and family gatherings very often were punctuated by hearing thrilling stories from the past, from my grandfather and my father and others, and it certainly enriched the fabric of our lives, and uh, I've tried to do this with our children as well. Uh, the scripture tells us that we should pass on to the generations following the good things of God, the things that God has done in our lives for which we ought to praise him. My father was a great storyteller, and I'm going to share with you a story that he told on the pages of The Watered Garden, his beautiful tabletop book that is published by Gospel Folio Press. Before I do read the story, however, I want to share with you a few verses from Isaiah 43, which he refers to in the, in the story. And Isaiah writes on behalf of the Lord, When you pass through the waters, I will be with you, and through the rivers they shall not overflow you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned, nor shall the flame scorch you. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. Later on he adds, You have been honored, and I have loved you. And again he writes, Fear not for I am with you. But my father wanted to stress two words in that first verse, when you pass through the waters, not if, we all go this way at one time or another, and through, not into. For though in his wisdom he allows us to pass through these difficult times, eventually, according to his purpose, he will bring us out again. Now, this particular story is probably the most poignant, and you'll see why as I read it to you. It's called The Golden Lock of Hair, and this is how it begins. I'll just read it to you. The little blue tin was hardly ever seen. Usually, it came out of the drawer in the fall of the year. Inside was a string of children's beads, nothing valuable nor special about them in any way, save only that fastened in the cord of the beads was one lock of golden red hair. The Christian lady told me about it one day. Her little girl, Helen, or Ella as they called her, was playing with the beads and somehow they got tangled in her hair. Try as they might, they could not unloose them. So at last the mother took the scissors and cut off the lock of hair. She kept that string of children's beads and the lock of hair still fastened to it in the little blue tin that I had seen. Ella was a beautiful child, I learned, with a sweet and gentle nature, the joy of her young mother and father, she took seriously ill, and in those days little was understood about her malady. Radical surgery was performed to save her life, but at the tender age of four, the Lord took her away home out of what would have been a life of suffering. The grief and sorrow of the loss of such a lovely little flower can only be appreciated by those who have passed that way. The young father, though a believer in Christ, became bitter and angry with God at the loss of his little darling, and in such a way. The wee girl was buried in an unmarked grave, and never in his life did the father return to it. He seldom spoke of his Ella, and then only with difficulty. The years passed by, and when he was seventy, he said to me, I know that I'm truly saved, but I have nothing for God. I shall be saved as by fire. Though personally I know there was many a cup of water given along the way that shall not lose its reward. The mother carried the wound of that loss in her heart right to the grave, but she bowed to the Father's will and out of the furnace of sorrow, 
She came forth as gold, and in her quiet way became a minister of comfort to many, with the comfort wherewith she herself have been comforted of God. We must all pass through deep waters at some time or other in life. For some, the waters are deeper and darker than for others, but it is the inevitable lot of human experience. In Isaiah 43, verse 2, it is when, not if. We all must pass that way sometimes, but it is through, not into, For the waters of trial are not for our destruction, but for our instruction. If by the grace and help of God we can bow to him in the sorrow, we will come forth as gold. If we rebel, despise the chastening, or faint under the rod, we will not bear the peaceable fruit of righteousness. Hebrews 12 and we can suffer loss at the judgment seat of Christ. The years have passed. The mother and father have both been reunited in glory with their darling daughter. See 1 Samuel 12, verse 23. A lock of hair, be it ever so golden, was not much to be left with. But it was all part of the treasure of memories and the token of hope that one day they would be together again beyond the veil of tears. After some searching, I found that unmarked baby grave one day in a shaded, overgrown corner of a cemetery in Scotland and stood alone with my thoughts and prayers, too personal to share with any but the Lord. That grave and that golden lock of hair have been a lesson for me in my life that I hope I shall not easily forget. Ella, you see, was my sister. <laughs>